another vlog in Tunisia. Today we are in Yasmin Hammamet, uh, which is not far from Hammamet, the actual town. Um, we are in this complex, which has got a medina, it's got a theme park and other things as well. So I just want to show you guys around. Uh, the prices are not too bad from what I've seen so far, but here's the entrance for the theme park. Here we go. Uh, there are plenty of restaurants and snack shops around. You got a tea shop there called the Pirate. There's a theater. You got a PS4 club and King Kong in the Medina as well. So let's take you guys around. So this uh, theme park's called Carthage Land, and they have made it really nice with these elephants and stuff like that, with uh, these warriors sitting on them. And the entrance also has the same. And um, apparently there's a 5D cinema here as well, which is just that blue building just here. So this is the entrance to the Medina. What's really cool is that King Kong figure moves and stuff. It's quite freaky actually. And it is really big. And you can see there's some restaurants and stuff like that, which are quite empty at the moment. We'll have a look inside. It's called Aladdin Park. the entrance here for Aladdin Park so this is the inside so far I'm not sure what to expect I'm not really sure what's here but we'll check it out and have a look I love the way that they've decorated this place though very mystical a lot of attention to detail has gone into this place So they've got some rides and stuff for kids uh, and a shop in Medina as well and I've just seen signs they've got a soft play area A lot of cool themes. A lot of cool themes. So this is more of a jungle theme. The Expo Center, which is closed. That thing seems to be closed. This would be a cafeteria which is closed this is really cool so I think this it's potentially the soft play area. Let's have a look. Yeah, so it's a soft play area. Safari ride. Some ice cream shop, sell drinks. And we are back outside. So on the outside there are a few restaurants. All decorated very nice. The Shisha Cafe. They're made into a mini fortress. 
this whole thing and look, they've got their own police on site as well. So just gonna have a quick bite to eat. Here's the menu, restaurant Tanit before I continue the journey. So I've ordered myself a coffee, coffee creme, looks nice. And I've ordered myself a Makluba as well, which is gonna come soon. Because I had that yesterday, it was, it was amazing. So try that again today. So the food's arrived again, Makloob, nice and hot bread. And you can see some grilled chicken side with some salad, accompanied with some fries as well. Should be a good meal. That was good, as expected. Really it does fill the spot. Uh, it's inexpensive as well, it's very good value for money. I think that was um, around about 12 dinar, which is around four pounds. Comes with fries and, and a maklub as well. It's very filling as well, the bread does make it very filling, so it's good value for money. So this is the entry for the bazaar or the Medina. Not sure who this fella is. And it's painted blue and white. Not very surprising of course. Does look very nice though. Very clean. Very calm. Very serene. Bit of artwork on the wall there. So the Kong escape, I'm not sure what that is, but it's some sort of ride. The entry and the tickets are just there. It's a lot bigger than I expected. Oh, that's There's a Medina conference centre there. Yeah. Quite a number of coffees and restaurants. So there's actually a cinema here as well. <laughs> Crazy. These close shops have some really cute jackets. Like, look how small this is. It's just bigger than the size of my hand. It's a boy's jacket, as well as the clothes as well. The blue fountain. It's really nice this idea. I must admit. And the prices are quite reasonable. A lot of the prices are actually stated on the pieces that you want to buy and stuff like that, which it's harder to get cheated. <laughs> Just get these.
the artisan village, a village artisanal. So it's an artisan village, different crafts and arts up here. I love this place, how they've, they've made this into a mixture between modern and contemporary. Uh, museum. Color for their civilization, their religion. Some museum from different religions. I thought it was a mosque for a second because it looks like there's a minaret there. Unless there is a mosque here somewhere. So there's a reception area there for for the centre, and the exit is just down there, as you can see. Beautiful place. I'm well impressed with this. I love how this piece of art they've got it semi 3D. So they've painted it on the wall and the car is in in wood. So I just had this made. Really good art is on the work available here within the Medina, as you can see. There's loads of really cool pieces of art on the walls in this Medina, and it is a beautiful Medina, very picturesque and beautiful place to take pictures and stuff like that if you like that kind of stuff um, so yeah do recommend checking this place out if you are staying in or around Hammamet um, or especially if you're staying in Yasmin then you've got no excuses really um, that's gonna end the video right there and I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I hopefully see you on the next one goodbye and peace